What's up everybody, Adam here with E-Trailer. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the Kurt Spare Tire Carrier. Well, this is gonna carry your spare tire, whether you're maybe just off-roading and you wanna get that tire out from underneath your vehicle and on the back, it's gonna be great for that. Good for the back hitch of your camper or even the front hitch of your motorhome. So all you need for this is a two inch hitch receiver to be able to accommodate for this shank here. Just to see if your wheel's gonna work with the spare tire carrier, we've seen eight lug wheels work on here, but just to give you an idea, so if the measurement from the center of one hole to the center of the other exceeds six inches, it's probably not gonna work, but we do have a decent amount of vertical adjustments as well since we have this taller slot, and that's about six and a quarter inches from center to center. So in our instance, from center to center, it's about two and a half inches. And then from center to center of our other one, it's about four and an eighth of an inch. So we were totally good and we can go a lot bigger even. Another thing to think about is the offset of your wheels. So on this one right here, basically what I'm doing is measuring from the back face of where it's going to mount onto the carrier to the edge of our rubber. It's about four inches and if you notice down here we have about an inch or so of room. So if that exceeded five then we're going to have to do something about that. Probably grab another one just because it's not really going to work. So those are some things just to see exactly if your tire is going to fit on the carrier. A couple measurements for you. One, we're gonna have a 12 inch long shank, which is just right here. So it's gonna be about 14 inches altogether. But what really matters is if this center mass is gonna hit your vehicle, wherever you may have it. So basically from the back of the shank, it's gonna be about two and a half inches, about four and a half inches, and about six and a half inches. So they are spread apart by two inch increments. But what really matters is where this front, the back of this center mast, where it's gonna hit your vehicle. So from the back center hitch pin hole, it's about nine and a half inches. This is about seven and a half inches. And this is about five and a half inches. This will also be pretty useful for RVs or campers. Right now we have the spare tire way underneath there and that's just kind of gonna be a pain. So with this, if you're not using your hitch receiver, might as well do it. If you do have a bumper and you can get one of those bumper mounted hitch receivers, you can do that and still be able to utilize the bumper from other accessories. So this is gonna be a great choice for that. But with your motor homes, you can put it in the front. We don't have a front hitch at the shop right now, but that's another thing that you guys do a lot. If I were to compare this to any of the other ones we have on our site, one that's literally identical is the e-trailer one. We just saw the Kurt and we thought it was missing a couple things. So we provide you with the hardware for your tire. We give you an anti-rattle bolt that goes through so you won't have all of this happening and you don't have to grab something separate. But also we get a hitch alignment tool, which is nice. You can use it on other accessories as well. So I would definitely recommend grabbing that one just because it comes with more goodies, why not? But if you really wanted to upgrade from just the basic spare tire carrier, we have some that actually rotate down so you can install it a lot easier, you can take it off a lot easier, and if you do put it on the back of your vehicle, you can open up the hatch that way as well. One thing I would add to the setup is a lock for your spare tire just so it doesn't run off. It just basically takes place of this little bolt and it'll just lock into place and you can get it key to like if you went with the e-trailer locking hitch pin. Let's go ahead and just take the spare tire carrier out of the box. There's no assembly with the carrier and we do have three different holes to choose from. So just depending on what the situation is, you wanna get it as close to the vehicle as possible. It does not come with a hitch pin or a clip, so you just want to get a 5 8 diameter pin. And since it is a hollow shank, what you could do is you could just get an anti-rattle just because 
that's kind of annoying. So if you wanted to do that, we do have some here at E-Trailer and you can just put that on the inside of this shank here. So now that that's done, we're gonna have to source our own hardware, which carriage bolts are gonna be your best bet. So whenever you're looking for hardware, grab a carriage bolt that has a square with a width of a half an inch, just because that is the width of this right here. So put this in, and now this isn't gonna rotate. So you're just gonna need three of those. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a washer and a lock washer on there. So it's gonna look like this. And you're gonna have to hold it in there. And if you can get a retainer, that'd be nice, but we didn't have any here, so it's gonna be quite interesting. But then basically the tire goes on. I'm gonna do washer, lock washer. And then I like a nylon lock nut just because it's gonna give us a little bit more added peace of mind just knowing that this isn't going to wiggle off especially if you don't get an anti-rattle device so let's uh, grab the tire and put it on to get an idea of exactly where this is going to sit kind of lift it up and line up those holes so if you notice down at the bottom in between those two holes there's a little marking there so that is the goal so what i'm going to do is try to do this by myself just in case you don't got any friends to help you so I'm gonna start with the top hole. Highly recommend starting with the top because it kind of hangs there. And then we can go ahead and put our washer, lock washer, and our nut on there. So now that's not really gonna move. I am gonna kind of tighten this up just a little bit. And now I can do that same thing for the bottom. So with this, I kind of just have to lift up on it, push those through, and it'll kind of sit there. So this is doable by yourself, but getting those retainer clips for these bolts are gonna be a necessity. So now we can just put all this on and then tighten it down. Now that everything's all tight, the spare tire is really tight on the carrier, which is good, but again, I would definitely recommend grabbing an anti-rattle device for this if you do go with the Kurt. All in all, this gets the job done, but if you wanted my opinion, might as well just go with the e-trailer version just because it comes with all the goodies. But if you just like this one and you really love the hardware store, go ahead and grab it. It'll get the job done. And that'll pretty much do it for a look at the Kurt spare tire carrier.